I think what is realistic is that Canadians of all walks of life will be informed that the federal government might not be putting the right effort for providing care to Canadians. That's what's at stake here. It's care for Canadians and the money that has been put on the table is not at the, uh, at the proper level. Up to this point, there's been no serious negotiations with provinces nowhere in Canada. And to me, it's a big, a huge disappointment because we are here as elected officials to represent people, real people with real needs. And we are there to provide solutions for them. And in health, it starts always, it always starts with funding. And they have fiscal room to do that. And up to this point, it's uh, blatant no. And that's not right, in is, my view. This is a series of discussions. Uh, this is the first one of a series of three meetings. Uh, so I think we set the table here and uh, we'll see where we go. I mean, we want to have a good relationship and, uh, you know, I can tell, tell you, Minister Philpott and I have a tremendous working relationship. I have great respect for her and uh, for uh, her assistance that we've been dealing with in British Columbia on a number of issues. So this is a positive relationship, but again, when it, it comes down to the fundamentals of having a sustainable healthcare system, you can't do that without talking about the financial side of it.